And welcome back to Catherine. We just got done with the quadrangle. Assuming it plays. Hey. Five thirty in the morning. Every time like the time goes off, I want to like do the Jeopardy sound, like do 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 do. You know, I used that joke once in one of my reviews. <laughs> I use it as a, I use it as a spoiler warning. It's like you have this, you have this much time and to click here. Otherwise, you've been warned. Due to the uh, increase. Yeah, you did that on your. Uh, you did that on your. What was it? Which one was it? Nightmare House. Yeah, you did. Part. You. Yep. A <laughs> Shut. Huh? So, got a nice loving phone call from a guy named Steve. That's such happens a, like, to be Catherine's anytime I think of boyfriend. That name, anytime I think of that name, I think of Steve from like Blue's Clues. <laughs> we are ready for Blue's Clues. What's this? There's a clue on this knife. Blue's wow. good, dude. We can too. <laughs> Blue skid do, we can do. Oh my god. I really want to know where those fantasies came from. Like, I wonder if he, like, woke up with, like, random scars. It's assuming that Catherine bit him in those places. <laughs> On the fucking upper arm? Ah, oh, yes, let's be sexy. I'm gonna eat it like a frickin' chicken wing. <laughs> There are some girls that are like that. Gotta eat the booty like groceries. There's actually, um, I don't know if I made this joke already, but there's a billboard, uh, nearby, um, my town, and it says, like, win groceries for a year, and every time I pass it, I'm just like, ah, yes, practicing for eating the booty. <laughs> The D, they want the D, Vincent. Also, I love how, like, his phone screen background is, like, the tweeny background. Like, he's got the flip phone. Like, this is, like, so... 12 years old. Everybody has the Razer flip flown. F flown. Flown. Do you have a flown? I have a flown. What's your flown number? My flown number is 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. C A L L A T T. Call A T T. Oh, no! Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that number doesn't work anymore. I love the insult. That's like you are the A T and T of people. <laughs> Sorry, A T and T. Hello. I really want to know whose eyes those are. Are are though? Because they look like Catherine's. Yeah. Looking at it now, I definitely can make the connection as definitely Catherine uh, Blondie's eye. Titty there. tits. Tits like McGee. Both of, both, tits McGee. Both of them have tits, but Catherine's the one that wears lingerie. Like, God bless that self confidence. I know I've said that, but damn. Yeah, Am there I were right, a ladies? couple of. There were a couple of cosplayers I ran in NDK in 2011 that actually wore that outfit. Really? I don't think I've For seen the... it in person, but I've seen some like cosplay pictures, some cosplayers that I follow. Right. Did you hear what happened at Momocon? No, what happened? Some body once told me. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody. Now, I don't know the whole story, but apparently, there was like a lot of groping and shit going on. I thought you said and... grilling, and I'm like barbecue. You wish. <laughs> I do wish. <laughs> the girl wasn't comfortable with that, and she brought up of the <laughs> staff that was holding the Mobicon event, and. Apparently, I can't just trust every word this girl. Uh, let me let me look up a fucking article on this. So I, can get I think I know which one you're talking about. They told her, well, if you didn't want to be 
groped or anything, you shouldn't have come dressed like this. And there were a exactly. bunch of Exactly. Okay, thank you. There thank were a bunch you. of other people in the exact same cosplay and she was the only one asked to change. Yeah, I saw that on Facebook a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Here's my stance on that. I should Okay. I understand that when a woman dresses a certain way, doesn't matter how she dresses, any way, a guy can get turned on by that. Like, some guys can like t-shirts and just be like, wow, I love the way she looks in that fucking t-shirt, and like, suddenly he gets a boner. A guy can literally look at a hot dog and be like, hmm, wiener, and just get a boner. Am I right, Gary? <laughs> Like, I've heard people say that they can get ten boners in a day. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just blood rushing. I mean, it doesn't automatically mean I am hella turned on and I want to stick my penis in you. It just means that they can get turned on. That also means that they should be able to... Well, they should also be able to control their emotions. Like, I understand it's hormones. I have hormone problems, and I'm still- I'm gonna try to control it as much as I can, and I'm not gonna go grope a guy's penis in the middle of a con, because he looks good in that <laughs> armor. Like, if I'm wearing a showy outfit, then let me wear that showy outfit. It does not mean that you have to, um like try to grope me like if you get a boner i'm not going to be hella offended i'm just going to be like okay go to the bathroom or something i don't want to be objectified um and i thank you you see me as sexy apparently or you like the way i look but keep it to yourself like just try to hide it go try to get out of your unitard for a second i'm sorry batman go over there like i've gone to a con and seen a batman with a boner i you know when I went to NDK 2011, the only thing that happened, because I cosplay as Barry Burton from Resident Evil 1, and um, apparently, I don't quite remember what she was wearing. I know she was wearing like a, a fur brassiere or something like that, but anyway, she purposely brushed up against me. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, ooh, furry. <laughs> ooh, furry, touchy, touchy. No, but um, you know. No, like, okay. In all honesty, if a girl looks nice, you can tell her that. You can compliment her. Some people do not like compliments. Some people, like myself, I like compliments. No. A compliment is not, hey, looking sexy. A compliment is, wow, your cosplay looks really good, or yeah. you look really good in that cosplay, Definitely. or, hell yeah, you look, you look really nice, not, you look fucking sexy. Like, only a friend can tell me that. Yeah. Like, let's, let's put it this way. If, um, my best friend went, girl, you looking sexy, I'd be like, damn right, thank you, I like your bedhead, it's looking nice on you. If, uh, somebody, like, um, Claire, I kind of know you, and I would let it slide, but, like, if you came out to me and you're like, girl, you're looking sexy, I'd be like, you want to bang or no? Like, what What are you doing? No. Well, I know, I know better to do something like that with people I barely know. And, God, it's stuff, stuff like that, it just makes me wonder, what the fuck do you guys think when they say stuff like that? Do they think they're being complimentary? Do they think it's gonna get them anywhere? Because I've actually had a couple of weird run-ins at bus stops of people I ha I know nothing about. I've never seen them before in my life. And they're kind of, and they start talking to me and because I'm just nodding politely and just kind of trying hard not to say, okay, please stop talking. I really don't feel comfortable with this. They seem to think suddenly, oh, I'm gonna be your future husband. I know it. And they say stuff like that! <laughs> like, And it freaks me the fuck out! And it's like, just yeah. like, what it's the like, fuck is wrong with you? I've been catcalled outside of a Dollar General before because I was wearing uh, tiny shorts, and I'm just like, does it even matter? I'm wearing tiny shorts and a tie-dye short shirt. Like, First of all, it's hot. <laughs> I am in Louisiana. I'm gonna wear all the shorts I want to wear. So if you're gonna be like, "Hey, girl, come over here," "Hey, girl," I'm gonna be like, "Hey, boy, get your ass back in your cheap five hundred dollar car. Bring it to the <laughs> shop. Turn down your freaking music, and get the hell out of Dollar General parking lot." Like, like, okay, if you're gonna, okay, 
I think the thing I hate the most, which getting back to the topic of the con, um, you are making it seem like the girl's mistake for wearing something showy. Now, yes, if a girl wears something showy, a guy will notice, and it's very possible that they can get a boner and get turned on, and they'll want to talk to them. However, guys need to also learn. Guys and girls, because girls will catcall too at some people, and I mean, it's not as offensive all the time, but, like, I'm not singling out the only one, th like, only one group. I'm sure that there's a girl out there that's mean enough to go and catcall some other girls. Um, but, like, if you are catcalling someone that is rude, that is insulting, it should not be the woman's fault for wearing whatever. The only time she is asking for it is when she directly says, Yo, wanna have sex? Or wanna make out? Like, that is the only time she asks Ooh, sorry. Asks for it. She does not ask for it by wearing a Catherine uh, Blondie Ma Tenny McGee cosplay. <laughs> like, she is not asking for it. She is asking to go to a con, to have a fun time, to be complimented on her cosplay in a consider um, considerate and proper way. Now, if you're wearing a Catherine cosplay and somebody says you look sexy in that, that's one thing. Like, but if you're saying like, "Oh, girl, you look sexy," I'm gonna be like, "Fuck yeah, I do. Thank you. Go away." <laughs> but like, if I'm wearing a Catherine cosplay and someone calls me sexy, that's kind of the point. You're wearing lingerie. Well, yeah. But I don't someone to be rude to me and be like, "Girl, you sexy. What's your room number?" I'm gonna be like, "Um, the police station." 911 it might be 911 <laughs> right now put it in your phone it'll it'll uh, automatically route you to my room yeah no like when that girl brushed up against me like my first reaction was like hey rude <laughs> rude <laughs> like because i was talking with my friend devin and who happened to found like a group of cosplayers that actually dressed in their Mortal Kombat, you know, cosplay. So I was just hanging out and talking with them. I was like, rude, I'm talking with these people. <laughs> rude. See, I'm, like, I'm really shy at cons. Like, see, the things that have happened to me at cons have never been like the wow, you look sexy, but I've also been like. Um, I'm sorry, I'm reading his freaking texts. You go, Vincent. Um, I'm, like, very shy when it comes to my cosplay outfits, but I'm trying to, like, branch out, especially now that I'm 18, yeah. and my mom can't tell me what to do anymore. <laughs> right. She can, but I don't have to take her advice. That's the important part here. Yes. And, like, let me put it this way. My mom raised me to dress nicely. We do not have the same taste in clothing, and she knows, like, she'll, like, me and my mom have this relationship where, like, she'll give me a Christmas present, and I'll be like, Mom, do you like these? And she goes, yeah, and I'm like, keep them. And she's just like, oh, okay, I thought you'd like them, but I like them more, so I'm gonna take them, and, like, that's our relationship. Like, but when I wear something, like, the other day I wore, um, a crop top and a mini skirt, or, like, a high-waisted skirt and wedges, and I'm like... I, I said something along the lines of, like, this person was creepy, and my mom, or, like, it was creepy, and my mom looked at me up and down, and she said, you going to Walgreens like that looks creepy, and I was like, thanks, mom. <laughs> thanks. And that's how I know when I'm too showy. Yeah, like, Do I care? Am I gonna change? No. I looked hot as hell. Man. If we're still on this topic of this <laughs> cosplay, um, like, you know... The only time I've actually laid a hand on anyone during that convention, in my time there, is when I literally saw someone that dressed up like a wolf or whatever, and I pat, you know, it turned out to be a girl under that outfit, but I pat her head like a dog, as you know, wolf. No, it was funny because... You know, as soon as I got doing that, she puts her hands on her cheeks and she's like, I'll oh, stop you. Oh, you. <laughs> See, I, um, uh, when I, like, the only time I could think of, like, touching somebody at a con that, like, they allowed me to, other than, like, 
Yeah, this was like a mutual, like I asked ahead of time, like um, there right. was a Joffrey cosplayer and she was spot freaking on. I need to go find a picture later on and you could like put this in the video and I will get her name oh, or no, something. Oh no, there was one. Like, there was one that was actually did a spot on Heartless from um, Kingdom Hearts. And so I literally asked, hey, can I hug you? <laughs> no, okay, well, like, this person's a Joffrey cosplayer from Game of right. Thrones, and they had a sword, and they had a wolf head. And oh. I was like, oh my gosh, you look gorgeous. I love right. this cosplay. It is perfect. And she was so giggly and happy. She's like, oh, thank you so much. And I said, hey, can I do something real quick? And she goes, yeah, what? And I'm like, okay, trust me on this, okay? And she goes, yeah. And then I, like, softly slapped her in the face, and I said, I hate you, Joffrey. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> that was my feel. Like, I didn't, like, hit her hard, but right, I kind of no, just, no. like, like, I, I fake slapped her, and I was like, Joffrey, I hate you! And she was just like, that's great, thank you. And that's, that's basically how you're supposed to act at cons, people. <laughs> you be nice. Even if they have, like, a shitty cosplay. Just be like, I could see you worked hard on that. Yeah. No, or just like... don't talk to them. For real. Yeah, like... <laughs> What's up, cutie? Sure or, no, not, don't actually do that, but, I don't know. We just went on for like 10 minutes about that. Yeah. I'm so Welcome sorry. to Catherine. <laughs> Imagine Vincent cosplaying Catherine Tits oh, McGee. Lord, no. Is there a picture please. of this? I'm gonna go find a picture of this. Vincent cosplaying <laughs> Catherine. You know what you do? Send it to me so I can edit that and into this video. <laughs> I really hope there is one. Come on, I see Vincent and Catherine cosplays. Is that- oh my god. There's a Vincent cosplayer carrying a Catherine body pillow. <laughs> and here. I just I have to check this out. But now we're learning more about cocktail. Man, I love me some cocktails. The drink, too. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... I don't know. I'm not too big in alcohol. Like, the closest I'll ever get to alcohol is Mike's Hard Lemonade. That's I'm not gonna comment. It. Well, like, here's the thing. I only drink that, like, on occasion, like my birthday. Like, you know, I'm not a heavy alcoholic. I don't drink alcohol at all. But. Erica? Erica? Oh my gosh. Thanks. Oh. Bingo. Ding ding ding. Which means. Yeah, ding ding ding. <laughs> you, I guess. <laughs> You're cute and passionate. You're cute. <laughs> For real? For real? Congrats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, you're cute. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Bay called you cute. <laughs> Do you think I'm the bad guy here? Kinda! Yeah! I mean, you kinda showed up! Well, actually... Hmm. Come on, don't be mad. Does that put like down? Yeah, like, like I said, there are some strange responses that line up to whatever alignment doesn't really make sense. Alright, back in the blue. That's all that matters. <laughs> One thing that, like, gets me, he never calls her anything but Catherine. They've been dating for five years. I've never heard him, heard him or her say... Call each other pet names. Baby. Yeah. Like, Are they like, one of those couples who doesn't do that, maybe? I don't Maybe. know. Like, okay, because I didn't like pet names for a long time, and now, like, I barely call my boyfriend by his name. I call him Babe. 
constantly. Hello. Especially when I'm calling him by his name, I'm just like, hey, hey, can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, see, this fact actually piqued my interest. Beer itself doesn't make you fat. You're an more. Then why, like, half my family got a beer bill? Ah. Uh, so sugar is. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Makes, Makes sense. So it's kind of a misnomer. Pretty much. Alright, we're done drinking beer for tonight. <laughs> I love how he's just like. He just looks at his beer empty? <laughs> Alrighty, so for the most part, um, we've talked to almost everyone in this bar for tonight. Just think of Orlando, John, and Toby, and that's about it, really. You know, Todd doesn't come in. Uh, we already spoke with Archie, the police officer, Justin, and Daniel, so... I'll fill every hole in her heart, oh my god. Don't make fun of me. I feel like Toby, he's still like Toby's a twelve year old. So fucking innocent. <laughs> yeah, he's totally like a little twelve year old, without the whole puberty part. Yeah. Like obviously the like ooh sexy, but like without the like Thanks, cracky game. voice, without the cracky voice and the like right. boner 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 boner. Thanks, or, like, game. Little... I didn't know that. Remind me like the third fucking time. I believe in her. Believe her, but you're ignoring your own sins in the first place. Yeah, I'm about to say, Vincent, come, come get the hits. she's cheating. That's the logical choice. Yes, it is. Dude, I'll just sit there getting angry. I'm not. Do they know she's pregnant? I didn't catch that. Yeah, I they know think... that she. Well, yeah. Vincent's I... already told him. So. Wind at them, you mean? Mm -hmm. Hey, I got the top score on that right now. Once I figured out the trick, I got pretty cool. <clears throat> you guys really like that game. You don't get why it's so fun, eh, Toby boy? Man, it's me. Eh, <laughs> Toby boy? Eh, <laughs> Toby boy? Eh, <laughs> 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 Toby boy? Everyone like that? <laughs> I never get yeah. On either of your relationships, Benson. Alright. I love the way they're all sitting. You could tell they're all, like, hella drunk. Yeah. Yesterday, I told my mom about Erica. Oh my god. What? Toby. Yeah, I found the one. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> you don't say. Don't go overboard. Sure thing. He's just gonna walk all up right. to her and be like, You wanna meet my mom for our first date? <laughs> That's our cue to go home. We're going home now. No, We're too drunk for this shit. Go home, you're no, drunk. They're gonna just go home and drink at their apartments anyway. Well, better to be drunk at home than in fucking yeah. public. Yeah, because then you get arrested for public indecency. Yep. Or, uh, I'm sorry, public intoxication. Public indecency is nudity. Yeah. Which uh, which is not totally out, out of the realm of possibility when alcohol is involved. Yeah, true. But like all of a sudden your clothes just weigh you down and you're like naked. Right. Why are you? I don't understand going to a bar and then like okay I understand it but like damn dude. You know, He's just got a lot on his mind. Now he's gotta deal with this Steve guy, and he's gotta figure out who the hell Catherine he, he's referencing. It's like another freaking Catherine. There's a third one. It's your mom! But yeah, in the next video, we actually go through mom. the clock tower. 
See you then. Bye.